Hi guys, welcome to today's video and look what I have my hands on today. This is a first ride thoughts on this bike. I've just done my 10 mile quick loop home and I've got to this point on the road which is uh, about half a mile from my house and my average is 18 mile an hour which usually be about 16 and a half if I'm on my own, 18 even with someone else but this is 18 on my own. This bike is... <sighs> Wow, is, is one in any words to describe it. The stiffness in the bottom bracket. Holy crap. I I thought my cat toy was actually pretty stiff when I've been riding it for so long, and the other one as well. Going onto this bike, holy crap. This is ridiculous. The stability's pretty good. It's a very windy night tonight. The crosswind's been crazy the whole way here. Obviously I've got the not 64s in. It's very unusual, as most people have said in their reviews. Um, when you look down, you can see the rim each side of the tyre, because it's only a 23 mm tyre. Measures 26 though. The shifting on this Dura Race 9020, holy crap. It's, the whole bike is just specced so well. It's um, not the lightest bike in the world, but you don't feel the weight, just because of how stable this bike is as a bike. I, wow. Um, this, I'm going to say it, this is better than my S5 was. And that's a very, very big statement. Um, let's uh, run through though the spec. I think I have done a video on this bike, but let's quickly run through the spec while I'm here. So, we have the Trimax Vision stem with a Metron aero bar, which you can put a clip on bar onto here. As you notice, I haven't got a Garmin mount on here, it won't fit. So, hopefully, they'll revise that at some point and work out some way of having something mount off something. Um, this cap here comes off, saves you three watts or something stupid like that. Dura Ace 9120 on the levers and the brakes. Discs are Ultegra, not 64 wheels. Front and rear. We have got the Cannondale SI chainset 5236 with a spider ring. My look, Kia pedals, my old faithfuls. You got the 9100 front radiator and rear radiator. Um, running a 1130, I believe, on the back of here, Ultegra. Not 64 rear wheel. This is a not seat post, which is obviously comes with the uh, frame itself and a Prologue Dimension saddle, which is incredibly comfortable. It looks pretty hard and horrible, and when you sell it without padding, it doesn't feel amazing, but this actually is a really, really nice saddle. The overall first impression of this bike is just wow. I'll do a, a slightly more in depth video if I can get a bit more riding on it, maybe a little bit tomorrow, maybe I'll buy it until Sunday morning possibly. But first thoughts on this holy crap. This is a quick bike. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, do the final video for you and I'll catch you guys later on. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and, and see you again soon. Goodbye.